right, so if you have the Note 9, you may be thinking you want this S10. Uh, I did that, and then I think I'm going back to, actually, my SIM card is back in. You can see there's no SIM in the S10 now. I'm going back to my Note 9. Or maybe, you know, you just want to freshen up your Note 9, uh, you know, or you get one for the first time, prices are going down. One way to keep it fresh is with a new case. So, I use these Samsung cases a lot, these hard shell ones. This is the one for my S10 Plus. And I have the same version for my Note 9. And then this is the flip screen, uh, S View clear screen. So a lot of times, when I travel, I'll take one of these two, the heavy duty cases. But on my day to day trips, I generally use the Phantom 2 from Nimbus 9. And I put a video out on this and I tweeted about it. And this company tweeted me and said, Hey, won't you try our cases? And I said, Sure. So they sent one over Armadillo Tech. Vanguard series. So it says it's military grade protection. Everyone makes that claim. I see that claim a lot. I don't really know what it means. Alright, I do like a kickstand. I get used to using that on these. That's one thing I miss when I use the Nimbus 9 case. I use the kickstand a lot. I didn't think I would. But I do, so when I'm in my, so this is my Note 9, of course, fingerprinted up, yellow S Pen. I usually use this guy. You can see my reminder, I'm getting ready to put the OnePlus 6T for sale, which is what I'm recording this on. I find I use the Note 9 more, it's my preferred device. So you can see how cool that is to set up. You can even do the sideways piece. That stands up pretty good. But let's try this armadillo. So it's a two-parter. Oh, I see. It has the full-on screen protector and the whole shebang here. Huh? And then this guy, I would say... It's about as sturdy as the other one is. Of course, it offers the screen protector that the... Uh, this one does not have a screen protector, of course. This is kind of like how other boxes do theirs. It's a little guide in here. Uh, it seems like you're just putting on the bottom first. So, let's go ahead and put our Note 9 in here. That seems like a lot of room. And then we'll take this guy off. Take this piece off as well. And then I assume that goes up here. Yeah, I think it goes all the way around. I'm thinking you put the... Oh yeah, so you put the clear part on first. So these little holes will go up top so you can see your cameras. Oh yeah, so it fits snugly on there. So yeah, so that's a snug snap in, right? So it's not coming out and just there. That's an interesting setup. Alright, and then it should be bottom first again. So let's there we go. And then you got the kicks. Uh, that's a heavy duty kickstand too. It's got a little string guy to hold them up. I see. Yeah, that's a. stands up a lot more than the Note version, or the Samsung version. You can see that incline is drastically different. Yeah, 
So you can see there, I mean, that's a big difference. So let's just see how things work. So we've got our porch covered up here. Now keep dust out, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep the dust out of there. I still got room to plug in, I bet. So if you take your standard 3.5 millimeter plugs in. Yeah, no problem there. And should be able to get the pin out, no problem. Yeah. With the otter box, I think it's kind of a pain to get the pin out. My brother in law has it, and I don't like it. So, yeah. That's real easy to get the pin out with this one. That's pretty good. So, and it will, I guess, yeah, it'll stay sideways like that too. We still got room for your speaker. So that should be alright. You got the little hole up there. Let's see if I hit the volume. Alright, so let's hit the power button. Very easy. Oh, let me see that guy lighting up. That's interesting. You can get the fingerprint just fine. It's almost easier to hit because they have such a big chunk back there. Volume button works fine. Bixby button. Double press is all I have it set up for Bixby. Yeah, so that works. Now this little slide guy, well that's be a little tough to hit that little guy. You gotta kinda effort yourself in there, right? You gotta right, I like that little side piece. Alright, so let's see how easy it is to get this guy off. I must say not very easy to get this guy off. Yeah, you gotta get in that little flexible piece. There we go. So yeah, that's definitely a heavy duty case. If you're in an area where you need some serious protection, I feel confident in that. Generally what I use is this guy. Uh, because it's pretty sturdy. You can see you still get to the bottom there, but the top is a pretty fierce shell. Much more so than the version for the S10. The S10 one's a lot thinner. The S10 Plus, I should say. Same deal with the... So you can see the S10 Plus and the Note 9. Big difference in size here, right? That's part of the problem is that I like the bigger phone. A lot of people will prefer the S10 because it's so much smaller, but not me. I like that bigger style. I mean, it's a drastic difference if you hold them side by side like that. Same thing if you look at these cases. This is the Note 9. This is the S10. Now you can see how much bigger this case is, sturdier. It's different material. I mean, this is a thinner material they made, I guess, to make it sleeker. But I don't want that. I want the sturdy boy. Even the thin uh, Nimbus 9 case is still, you know, substantially bigger. You can fit the whole thick S10 case, S10 Plus case, inside the Note 9 Nimbus case. See? So yeah, I like the big Note 9. Uh, I use this case a lot when I travel. It's pretty finger printed up. Or this case, because, you know, I don't drop it. But this one, when I'm working somewhere, I can kind of get a little privacy by having the shield up on you, right? All right, so I think, really, I think they're all good cases. If you like the official Samsung products, both of these are good. Both of these work fine with wireless charging. So does this. This seems fine. I don't think there's these have any problem wireless charging here with this guy. 
So yeah, this is a nice dirty case. If you don't want an otter box, you can want to try this guy out. I think it seems pretty solid. Company seems legit. Uh, it's designed in Texas, made in China, but it's just got some kind of American point to it, right? Uh, all right. And of course, I'm still a big fan of this NIMS. I mean, this says military standards well, but I don't think there's any way to say this one is as sturdy as this guy or uh, this case. I would say this is probably sturdier than this one, but this one has the added benefit of having that front piece because none of these other ones have screen protection except for this guy, and it's only one year closed it, but it could flip open on you, whereas the other one has a full-time front screen protection. So that's pretty solid. Uh, you know, seems like a good company. I don't know, I guess it says they're donating. All these companies say they're donating now. Hopefully they really are. I'll probably still stick to this guy for my daily driver. I really wish there was a thinner case for my daily case. Now when I travel, I like the big cases right, but for a daily driver, this is usually what I go with. And then I will, you know, Samsung used to make their own really thin cases, but they don't make those anymore. Anyhow, nothing really uh, groundbreaking here. I'm just saying, if you have the Note 9, these are all pretty good cases. Uh, I still recommend the Note 9. I prefer the Note 9. I made a video a while back where I, was, where I had both the OnePlus 6T and the Note 9. I was still using the Note 9. And now they have the Note 9 and the S10 Plus. I'm still using the Note 9. So, Alright, so there's two good products. The Armadillo Tech and the Nimbus 9. And of course the official Samsung products. Alright, thanks for checking me out. I want to make some more videos coming up soon.